Welcome back to the channel, Toyota Fanatic 81. In this video, we're going through the process of changing the headlight and fog lamp bulbs. And this video is specifically for 2014 to 2017 Tundras. Now it's starting to rain, so let me get the truck in the garage and let's get this job started. I may as well go ahead and address the haters right away, because I know you're watching. Yes, I can replace these older OEM style headlight and fog lamp housings with the newer version. For example, 2018 to 2021 Tundras have housings where the LED is already integrated into them. I could also go with a more expensive version like Morimoto's, for example. The point of this video is to cater to the guys and gals that are still running the older OEM style headlight housings where you have to change out the bulbs. Later on I will be putting in fancier headlight and fog lamp housings, but for right now we're going old school. The good thing about this job is that it doesn't require much equipment. A couple pry tools, an impact wrench, and a 10mm socket is mainly what you need. Those magnetic trays will come in handy for the screws and bolts. The first thing to do is to get the grill off of the truck. And to do that, you can use an impact wrench to remove the metal screws. There should be six in total along the grill. There are two small plastic clips on top of the grill on each side. You can use a pry tool to remove them. After you've removed all the screws and the clips from the grill, go along the top edge and the bottom edge and carefully remove it from the truck. You should hear it snap or click away from the vehicle. If you're running fender flares like I am, you're going to have to loosen them up a bit. You can do this by removing the three screws on the front end. And if you don't have fender flares, obviously you don't have to worry about this part. Next, you've got to remove those two clips at the end of that curved panel between the bumper and the headlight housing. You can use your pry tool for this as well. With the fender flare loose, it should be fairly easy to remove that small panel. Just slide your fingers along the top and the back edge and slowly, carefully pop it out. There's my beautiful wife. She's in about a quarter of the videos on this channel. Sometimes she helps me with filming, but not today, not for this job. We're almost ready to take out the headlight housing. We just have to remove that small bolt at the bottom and the screw at the top. If you're smart, you'll put a towel down on the body of the truck so that you don't scuff or scratch the headlight housing when you take it out and put it down. Now when I was first doing this job back in 2020, I was replacing the stock halogen bulbs with LED bulbs. Now I'm replacing my current LED bulbs with even brighter LED bulbs. When I did this job the first time, the steps were about 99% the same, but there was some variance with the clip and the grommet. This is because the bulbs were shaped differently. They had a long cord and they had a resistor. Now if you're doing this job for the first time and you're going from the stock halogen bulbs to LED bulbs, you can do one of two things. You can look at my older video and see how I did it there, or you can probably still follow along with this one. You'll figure it out. The steps are virtually the same anyways. Grip the back of the bulb, turn it counterclockwise and carefully remove it from the housing. Then you can separate the male and female connectors. Carefully remove that rubber grommet so it doesn't rip and then you can open up that gold clamp. Now if you're anything like me, you're going to take a couple seconds to admire your brand new bulbs. But not for too long because we got to get this job done. Gently place the bulb into the housing and use that small gold clip to secure it there. These new LED bulbs I bought have no cord and have no resistor. In fact, the male ends of the connector are sticking out of the bulb itself. This means that when I'm putting the grommet in, I have to make sure that there's enough room that I can connect the female end. Take your time and gently get the headlight housing back in place. You'll hear me say careful and gently a lot because it's really easy to scratch those. And of course, you have to test the bulbs, both low beam and high beam. Make sure they're working properly before you move on to the fog lamps. When you go to replace the fog lamps, you'll notice that there's a plastic guard in front of the fog lamp housing. And there's four bolts and one clip that are holding this in place. Now when you go to remove these, it doesn't matter which order you do them. You can remove the bottom bolts first, the side bolts, the clip, it doesn't matter. Just take them all out.
Once you've removed all five connection points for that guard, you can carefully remove it from the bumper and get it out of the way. Back in 2020, I removed the entire fog lamp housing in order to change out the bulbs. This time, I'm gonna leave the housing where it is. I'm just gonna switch out the bulbs themselves. You may need a small flathead screwdriver to remove the male and female ends of the connector. Turn the bulb clockwise or counterclockwise depending on which one you're working on and pull it out. My headlamp bulbs still work and I can keep them for a just in case scenario, but my fog lamp bulbs are toast. Haha! <laughs> New bulbs are sexy! Slip the new bulb into the housing and turn it to secure it in place. Then you can simply snap on the female end of the connector. Just like you did with the headlights, give the fog lamps a quick test. Make sure they're working properly before you start putting things back together. I had already swapped out the bulbs on the passenger side before I started filming the driver's side. There's no need to show you both sides because the steps are exactly the same. Once you've made sure that all the bulbs are working properly, you can start putting things back together again. It's all the same steps, it's just in reverse. Alright, the rain is gone, time to get the truck out of the garage and get the car back in. <laughs> I'm trying to impress my wife by telling her about all the steps involved in replacing those bulbs. You can see how excited she is. In reality, she's probably thrilled that the truck is out of the way and now she gets to move her baby, her Q60 Red Sport, back into the garage. This car probably deserves a channel of its own. I'm happy with these bulbs. They're just as bright as I need them to be, and in fact, they're brighter than the last set. And this has been another successful and easy modification. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you to the people that watch my videos over and over again. I love the conversations we've had in the comments section, and you are the reason that this channel is growing. If you're new here and you just stumbled upon this video, I hope you found it helpful. You may as well subscribe and stick around, watch a few more of these videos. If you own a second generation Tundra and you're looking for ideas of how to customize it, how to make it your own, you're in the right place. That's it, I'm out, I will catch you on the next do-it-yourself or modification video.